Welcome back and today I'm going to show you how to uh, get over a stain block in a new build property right now I've just come out today and I've come to this new property to just snag it out and like there's been a gigantic water leak in the kitchen and it's been filled and all sorts and obviously there's like water staining on um, on the ceiling and wall and as you probably know or if you don't know if you just try to re-emulsion it that water stain will come straight through the emulsion so ideally you know if you know you've got a water stain to deal with um you would pick up some proper stain block right but i didn't know and i've got to seal this water stain today so it can be finished tomorrow but i've got no stain block so what do i do well i'm going to show you and let me also show you the state of this kitchen ceiling. Right then, like I say, got this uh, big gigantic water stain in the kitchen ceiling, all down the wall and everything. And uh, this is basically what I'm going to use to seal it. Yeah, some Dulux Trade New Work Undercoat or any oil based undercoat uh, to seal the walls and ceilings. Um, so I can be emulsion over that. And basically, here's what I'm looking at here. You know, can you see that? That's a water stain. They've had a leak upstairs, it's come all the way through the ceiling. The water's picked up all the shit and crap, or whatever's in the radiator, dirty water, and it's come through the ceiling, stained it all. Some of the plaster work's dropped out. As you can see, so it's been refilled. But if I um, re emulsion over that stain, there you go, look, I've got to do the frame as well. If I re emulsion over that, it's just going to come straight back through. The only way to do it is seal it up with proper stain block, or like I say, if you come to a plot and you've not got any stain block, then use some of that and just either brush it on or roll it on, let it thoroughly dry overnight, then give it a bit of a denib down with some probably 180 fine scratch, and then re-emulsion the walls, and hopefully that should hold back your, um, your water stain. And uh, as you can see, I've made a bit of a start there with brushing the roller, water stain all the way down there, and I'm gonna roll all that out and it goes all the way down there and there's some, some more around, around the area as well. Here you go, here which is look, I've, I've stain blocked it all now with uh, oil based undercoat because I've got no stain block and basically just got to leave that to fully dry and then just give it all uh, an all over sand with uh, about a 185 sandpaper just to make sure it's got that key there because you want to put water based emulsion on oil based paint and uh, that should block all that ceiling out uh, block all that stain out i should say quite a lot there though as you can see and re undercoated the frame in oil base just wants a bit of fill up when it got up but yeah that's how you uh stain block a water stain in a new build or old build 
if you've not got any proper stain block. Uh, but I've always used oil-based undercoat or gloss. I've used it all the time, I've never had no problems to be honest. As long as you let it fully dry, give it a bit of a sand over and then re emulsion it. There you go. Happy days. There you go. That's how you seal up a water stain in a new build or an old build if you haven't got any proper stain block. I'm not sure but I think it's like meth based. Proper stain block is like meth based or something. Uh, so, but yeah, so if you haven't got any of that, just use some oil based undercoat or, I mean, I have actually even used gloss before, just glossed over it, let it thoroughly dry. As long as you like, give it a bit of a, a, a sand over with some fine scratch to form a bit of a key. So when you re emulsion it, it doesn't like separate, it like sticks to the undercoat or gloss. <coughs> That's a pretty good way of uh, sealing up um, a water stain using oil based undercoat or gloss. So, yeah, another trade secret from yours truly, the candle man. Until next time, catch you later.